This is Yes FM Stupid News. For those who don't know, alligators are pretty heavy, especially when they're 12 feet long um, yes. and you've got to move them alive. They had to pull in a crane for this one. This happened in Mont Bellevue, Texas. Officers there had to use a trash truck. Trash guy! Trash guy! To safely relocate a 12-foot gator. A crane hoisted the massive reptile up into the truck. Witnesses said they were amazed with one stating, I have never in my life yeah. and probably never will again see anything like this. Mm? Crane to garbage truck. Garbage truck, boop, 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 down the road. Crane to get it back out and release it back into the wild. You know, now I've done this. Um, I have uh, on a couple of occasions when when you're you're kind of half paying attention, looking at your phone, whatever. And there's a vehicle in the parking lot that's the same color as yours, mm -hmm. looks kind of the same. If you're not paying attention, you can hop in. But I I would imagine in this case the car was still running. Yeah, I'm thinking both of them left their car running. But yeah, this happened recently in Montana. Guy there named Vince Zapita drove off in a car that he thought was his own after he picked up pizza. Mm. He realized his mistake and returned the owner its vehicle and yeah. said uh, he thought I'd having a dog in the car would protect the car. But no, the guard dog in the car just looked at the dude as he's driving like, what's up, bud? Got pizza? Can I have the cross? Exactly. So he, probably when he saw the dog, he realized this this is not my car. And then you start looking around like, that's not my cup holder. Mm. That's not my little thing hanging off the, I didn't leave it on this radio station. Uh-oh. Turn around. 180 time. But I can see how it could happen. Oh, easily. Yeah.